everyone, this is Wendy back with another video from Calla Lily Creations. As I have moved on with my Cricut over time, I sort of take for granted all the things I've learned along the way. And on some of the Facebook pages I'm on, people have asked some basic questions. So we're going to kind of go back a little bit. And today we're going to talk about making a mock-up. Now making a mock-up of a shirt or a mug or even a poster is really useful because then you don't have to actually make a product that you want to post for sale because that would be really expensive and time consuming. So to do a mock-up, you want to upload an image that you have either taken yourself, gotten from somebody else, of course, that you've either purchased or that they have given you. So you want to take that picture and make sure it is on your computer. So I'm going to upload it into my design space. So I'm hitting my upload button going to upload image and then I'm going to browse for the image that's on my desktop. Now I'm going to work with that mom baseball so it would probably look good against a white shirt so of course I went and checked before and made sure I had one and of course like I said it's one I either purchased or that someone had kindly given to me and agreed to share. So I'm going to upload that and it's so weird at first when I uploaded an image, I expected to have to do something to it, but you don't. You just, you want it exactly how it looks right here. Cute shirt with the shorts, well presented, nice background. I hit complex and then I will hit continue. And look, there is my shirt. And you see how it's really big. So it will take a while to upload. So I'm going to hit continue. And as I'm doing it, I'm realizing this shirt has a pocket on it, so it probably isn't the perfect image for me to use. However, I'm going to stick with it for now just so you get the idea. And you always want to name it. So I'm going to call it White T-Shirt Mock-Up. And then in the tags, you always want to do mock-ups. So you can quickly recall all of your mock-ups that you have saved over time. And you hit your Save button. And like I said, it takes a little while because it is such a big image. And now we're going to upload that and when we do we're going to just put it into our design space and you'll see you'll be able to drag whatever image you want right on top of your t-shirt or mug or lawn sign whatever it may be that you're using you'll be able to just pull that right up so here it is right there on the left i just want to click on that and then on the right this green button that says insert images i'm going to bring that into my design space and again, it's going to take a little while because it's so big. I mean, look at the size of this thing as it comes up. That's huge. You don't need it that big. You can quickly go to size. And I just like to make it about six right away. And that'll bring it right down. But you'll see that this picture is now in front of my image. So you want to go up to the top and hit arrange. And you're going to want to send that to the back just like that. And then take our image right over here. Select the whole thing because it's not attached or anything. And you want to drag that right on top of your t-shirt and kind of size that because you're not going to have that giant picture like that on your t-shirt. You kind of want to place that just how you would do if you were ironing this onto the shirt. So boom, look at that. It looks great. Even with the pocket there, it doesn't look too bad. And then with the Mac, I know I could just take a screenshot. I could hit Shift Command 4 and I could just quickly Take a screenshot of my image and voila, that will now go to my desktop and I'll be able to use that, let's say, if I want to make a Facebook post in Marketplace or if I want to post on Etsy, it's right there and ready and I never had to make a shirt. So that's really quite a cool little thing. So you go back to my projects, I'll just show you um, right over here. This is an example of a graduation sign that I had done. So you have a mock-up of the sign. I'll pull that up real quick. And we'll be able to show people what it looks like to customize the graduation sign to sell. And it says, wow, that's a big project. This may take a moment. Okay, no problem. So here I have a couple that I've done. And this is one I could just drag right over to my sign. Look at that. And it, in the grass, it looks really cool looks pretty. I can show somebody almost exactly how it's, the finished product's going to look. So there you have it. That is how you do a mock-up really quick, really easy. Like I said, it saves you time and money. Good luck. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure you like this video 
and underneath make sure to ask any questions that you have or anything you would like to see in future videos. I would love to help out with that.